The longest total lunar eclipse of the century is coming Friday, and it will transform the moon into a reddish orange color for more than 100 minutes, according to NASA. The eclipse won't be visible from North America, Noah Petro, a scientist for the NASA Goddard Space Center, told ABC News. Stargazers in areas near the Middle East, South or Eastern Africa, Western and Southeast Asia, and India will be able to catch a glimpse of the celestial event as long as the weather permits, he went on to say. Now in those areas, the totality of the lunar eclipse, when the moon will retain its red color, will last for about an hour and 42 minutes. The entire event, beginning as the moon passes through the Earth's stratosphere, will last about six hours and 13 minutes, Petro said. Residents in Australia will be able to see the lunar eclipse as the moon sets, while those in eastern Brazil and western Europe can see it as the moon is rising. Petro suggested either renting a boat and driving it into the middle of the Indian Ocean or visiting relatives in Ethiopia for the best seat in the house. Now in the US, the lunar eclipse will start around 1.14 p.m. Eastern time, and the maximum period of totality will start around 4.21 p.m. Eastern time, making it too light outside for the blood moon to be visible, Petro said. Now although US residents won't be able to see the eclipse, the next total lunar eclipse visible in the US will be on January 21st, 2019, according to NASA. It will be a supermoon as well, which is a full moon or new moon that coincides with the moon's position at its closest to the Earth.